set. And they sprinting your way. Lions Cross jumps onto King's Ransom. Boogie fired, hit the ground running. William West right there, all about Earl in the maroon. And then comes Swift Action. Further back to Wiley Jack over towards the inside. King's Ransom. And finally, Lions crossed at the 800. Boogie fired goes hard over towards the inside rail. Shows the way by a good couple of lengths over William West, who's in the red and white colours. Swift Action, blue sleeves and dark blue cap. All about Earl. Then comes Wiley Jack. King's Ransom, Hammy's Hero. They together, Lions crossed, races at the end of the field as they now make their way towards the the final 400 metres and it's Boogie Fired over William West. Then comes Swift Action. All About Earl was further back. Wiley Jack, King's Ransom, Hammy's Hero. They together finally lines cross towards the final 300 metres. They go. Boogie Fired, William West. Then comes All About Earl. Hammy's Hero further back. Swift Action. Then comes King's Ransom. Wiley Jack tight for room towards the inside. It's Boogie Fired in the lead. All About Earl though comes thundering home. All About Earl takes the lead. Close home. And All About Earl wins it going away. Second to Boogie fired. Third goes the way of Lions crossed and then came Hammy's hero. So the winner is uh, racing towards the left-hand side. Stayed out of harm's way. And that will uh, prove to yield dividends. Lions crossed towards the extreme left-hand side. Boogie fired in the indigo sleeves and cap. But uh, the way that it's all transpired here has seen all about Earl take out victory in race number six on today's card and he's certainly not winning out of turn Okay, thank you very much. Great ride from Gareth Wright. Great to chat to him this afternoon because uh, we've said it time and time again, a man that puts in all the hard yards in the morning and uh, certainly starting to reap those rewards. Gareth, uh, another good ride from you. Well done. Yes, thank you. You know, I've had the uh, opportunity to sit, I mean, sit on him twice now and uh, I've learned a lot about him. So I, opted, I asked him if there was a five available because the six, they just see him out because he moves through and he, he wonders. I think you saw he still wondered a little bit. That's why I just hold him as tight as I could and try to track Grant as long as I could. So when, when Cornes was made a challenge, what I liked today, he actually put an effort in again and ran away. So maybe he's just taking some time to, to do things the right way. But kudos to Adam. Today, I said going to the start. I said uh, if he doesn't win today, then he might take a while because he had him spots on today. Well, Gareth, I want to talk about that combination because uh, Adam, as you rightly said, has got his yard in good form. You equally in good form. So a combination that we need to follow going forward. Yes, absolutely. You know, I've got to give credit to Adam and Mr. Marcus and his team. I don't often write a lot of work there. They said they've got some decent work riders. I think I sat on a couple the other day, but they do most of the hard work at home and then I just do my job here. So <laughs> I'm grateful that way. And uh, things are going well at the moment, so I'm grateful to, to, to be in this position. Long mate, continue. Well done, Gareth. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Yep, he does a lot of hard work in the mornings, as I keep saying, as do all the jocks. So uh, kudos to them. All the best to them. Obviously, two big race meetings still coming through from the Western Cape, being the Law Mirage King's Plate next week, Saturday at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. And then we've got uh, the big Met meeting happening at the end of January. So please get your tickets. I believe hospitality is selling out very quickly. For now, I'm going to get you back to Vicky as she stands by with Adam Marcus. Well done to the team. Thank you very much, Brandon. Most certainly lots of uh, excitement up and coming in the Western Cape. But uh, it's Adam Marcus that joins me with regards to the win with uh, All About L. Adam, well done. Thanks so much, Fix. As you said, he's such a soldier and he's, uh, he was with you. He left and now he's come back and rewarded you with a great win. Yeah, he's always been a very, very consistent horse. He's not a big boy, but he's got a heart of gold. And uh, he had very consistent form and the prior owners wanted to send him to PE to obviously notch up as many wins as possible. And he just lost his way, obviously. It took him quite a while to get back into our um, condition and he's coming to re uh, reproduce the goods again. So just delighted, so proud of the horse. He's a lovely, lovely horse to deal with. And uh, to Gareth, a beautiful, beautiful ride today. Rode him with all the confidence in the world and he's a horse that likes to be run off his feet. And uh, when I saw William West going at such a good clip, I thought this is perfect. So uh, everything went according to plan today and I think it was just meant to be. Adam, well done. Thank you so much. Also, just uh, your sponsors, Interbet. Yes, and my sponsors, Interbet, very well done. And just to all my staff at home who have put in the hard work over Christmas. Uh, it's never an easy time of the year when everyone's off and having fun, uh, but just hats off to them. Well done, Adam. Thank you, Vex.
Yeah, well done to Adam Marcus, number nine, all about L. Well done to uh, Bernard Cantor for breeding and uh, obviously Adam thoroughly enjoying as trainer and owner of All About L, well written by Gareth. Thank you very much from the super commentary of Alistair Cohen and thank you Vicky. All About L, race six, third leg of the pick six. Adam Marcus, Andile, Nyakbongela Tata. Nam des Bongela. Congratulations, please accept the check from Hollywood Bet and Cape Racing. What is A very delightful man, and he's very, very happy about the running of Albert, all about L. I'll be crossing over to Alistair for the replay of the race six.